Kremlin haven't learnt the lessons of history. They dream of recreating the Soviet Union or a kind of greater Russia, carving up territory based on ethnicity and language. They claim they want stability while they work to threaten and destabilise others. We know what lies down that path and the terrible toll in lives lost and human suffering it brings. That's why we urge President Putin to desist and step back from Ukraine before he makes a massive strategic mistake. We need everyone to step up. Together with our allies, we will continue to stand with Ukraine and urge Russia to de-escalate. What happens in Eastern Europe matters for the world. Threats to freedom, democracy and the rule of law aren't just regional, they're global. And that's why we have to respond together. And we're seeing the alignment of authoritarian regimes around the world. It's no surprise that regimes like Belarus, North Korea and Myanmar find their closest allies in Moscow and Beijing. They don't look to these nations as partners, but as puppets. Moscow wants them to promote their propaganda and destabilise free democracies on their doorstep. At the same time, Beijing has forged a so-called Iron Brotherhood with Belarus. China is the biggest buyer of Iranian oil and Pyongyang's largest trading partner. China and Russia have spotted an ideological vacuum and they're rushing to fill it. They are emboldened in a way that we haven't seen since the Cold War. Foreign Secretary, thank you very much. Thank but we are very clear together with our allies in the G7, with our allies in NATO, that if there is an incursion by Russia into Ukraine, it would come at a massive cost. We are prepared to put very severe sanctions in place. We are also working to support Ukraine in terms of defensive capability. What I would say as well is that dealing with this immediate situation is, of course, an absolute priority. But the free world also needs to work together to reduce economic dependence on Russia. It would not be easy. The Ukrainians uh, will fight this. This could end up as a quagmire, and I think that should be seriously considered by Russia. But, of course, Ukraine isn't a member of NATO, uh, so it's not in the same position as for example, uh, the Baltic states, where there would be uh, direct action uh, in the case of any conflict. For now, it's goodbye from the Lowy Institute. Thank you very much.